Good morning. Today is Monday, September 18th. I'm Corva Coleman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. This is Climate Week in New York. Thousands of climate protesters filled Manhattan yesterday. They're demanding meaningful change to combat greenhouse gas emissions. Activist Emma Beretta says young people are pointing to President Biden's climate actions. What he needs to do in order to earn youth votes and win the 2024 election is to end fossil fuels. The march comes the same week as President Biden is in New York for the U.N. General Assembly's annual meeting. He will address the assembly tomorrow. The United Auto Workers strike continues against three plants in Michigan, Missouri, and Ohio today. Not all UAW workers are on the picket lines. Contract talks between the union and Ford, GM, and Stellantis are ongoing, but weekend negotiations did not appear to yield much progress. Tech billionaire Elon Musk is meeting Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in San Jose, California today. This comes as Musk faces accusations of anti-Semitism on his social media platform X. NPR's Daniel Estrin reports from Jerusalem. Netanyahu and Musk will hold a talk live streamed on X. The Washington Post reports that allies of Musk hope Netanyahu can help Musk fend off an anti-Semitism controversy. Musk has amplified white supremacist messaging, calling to ban a prominent Jewish group, the Anti-Defamation League, on X. Musk blames the group for a drop in ad revenue. This is the first stop on Netanyahu's first visit to the U.S. since returning to office. This time, he will not have a customary White House visit. He'll meet President Biden on the sidelines of the U.N. General Assembly. And he's expected to face Israeli protesters in the U.S. All year, Israeli protesters have opposed his moves to weaken the powers of Israel's courts. Netanyahu accuses protesters of aligning with the Palestinians and Iran. His office has tried to walk back the comments. Daniel Estrin, NPR News, Jerusalem. The Council on American-Islamic Relations is seeking to end what it calls the government's secret watch list. The group says Washington is unjustly targeting Muslims. NPR's Kristen Wright reports CARE is announcing a lawsuit. The Muslim Civil Rights Advocacy Group claims a secret terror watch list almost exclusively targets Muslims for harassment and humiliation when traveling. CARE is filing suit on behalf of several plaintiffs in Michigan, Massachusetts, and New Jersey. Mohammed Khairula, the mayor of Prospect Park, New Jersey, is one of the plaintiffs. He was invited and then uninvited to an Eid celebration at the White House this year without explanation. In May, Khairula told NPR he was on a secret watch list that was leaked. CARE says it analyzed that. That list and found 98 percent of the names were of Muslim origin. The government created the terrorist screening center database after the September 11th attacks. Other legal challenges are winding their way through the courts. Kristen Wright, NPR News, Washington. You're listening to NPR News.